Michigan Lake in three words. Not that great. Not <laughs> <laughs> for the brutally inhospitable weather stay for the ceaseless economic recession. Yeah, cold is really turning into a factor here. It would have been bad if it wasn't wet, but we're freezing. Yeah. Actually, it probably still would have been bad if it was cold. If only I had a beard, this would be so much more manageable. Supposedly, if we just go a little further, it'll just be cold and, and at least and not it's wet. It's not even cold. It's 57 and windy, and we're, we're freezing our balls off. Hello, my name is Alan Baxter, and I'm a trained voice actor. I was asked to narrate this episode of Adventure Prone because everyone is tired of hearing George and Ian talk. Up until now, it's been all fun and games, frolicking across the eastern seaboard, not a care in the world, dealing only with first world problems. It's like the, the volume button is like constantly on. It's about time something interesting happened. Internet totally lied to us when it said it was going to stop raining. It never stopped. I think we had it so, so fucking cold I can't think straight. Drove probably a day out of our way to get these great roads, and all we got was a shit ton of fucking freezing rain. It's, it's kind of relieving when you don't have any other options. Like, our only option is to make it to St. Paul. So. Like that makes it easy, so you just have to tough it out. They leave the vibrant economy of Michigan behind and head towards Minnesota. At the same time, a low pressure system from Canada is also making its way to Minnesota. George and Ian are about to experience the hardship they set out to find. All right, we're on US 2 right now, uh, headed west uh, down the coast of Michigan, trying to avoid more fucking rain. I hope you can hear me, I'm in a fucking helmet. Pretty, all things considering. That does not make for, that does not make up for all of Michigan's shortcomings though. People in the United States do not come here. Ever. That might not be true, but I'm holding to that. Listen to these guys whine. You quit your jobs during a recession to go on a road trip. The experience of riding a motorcycle in cold weather is unpleasant at best. Your exposed body is buffeted with frigid air that works its way through every fiber of your clothing and into every crevice of your person. How you feeling? Oh, uh, pretty good. Sorry shake the camera, I'm a little trembly. Uh, that's gonna be nice. Modern equipment will allow any rider, regardless of experience, to brave the most extreme conditions. Or you can go cheap and look like a homeless person who stole a motorcycle. One, two, three, four, five, six. That t shirt. If you I'm count still, that. I'm still cold. Which is a little disconcerting considering we're going to the cold part of the country. What sort of gear is required? Seriously, what, what the fuck do you wear? We're wearing all the clothes we brought. How can it possibly get any warmer than this? It's hard to describe how I'm feeling right now. Uh, it's difficult to walk through. It's almost like I'm a little drunk. It means I probably shouldn't be riding a motorcycle. Sorry, Mom. Uh, also freezing. I hope this doesn't keep up. It's gonna be miserable. You remember? Remember when we could wear T-shirts and? have like a satchel sexually thrown around your back as you weaved in and out of traffic because I sure as shit don't. I say without a doubt that I'm looking forward 
the cold. And I know I'll regret it. Yeah. That. You win, universe. We wish it was colder. You win. <laughs> You may be asking yourself, why are George and Ian pushing so hard, driving all night to make it to Minnesota? To that, I would respond, this is a f***ing internet show. If you want something well thought out, go watch The West Wing. You ever find yourself asking what decisions you've made that led you to this point?